Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A7IV and Sony A7 II. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A7IV and the Sony A7 II are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 21st of October 2021 and the 20th of November 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7IV. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7 II. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A7 IV and the Sony A7 II. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A7IV. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A7 II. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7IV. I recently upgraded from my old Sony A7E to the new A7IV. The improved quality and autofocus were the main selling points for me, and I'm really happy with the solid feel and awesome touchscreen. The only downside was the inadequate packaging, but overall I'm pleased with my purchase. Great camera, worth the price. Easy to use and good image quality, but you'll need a nice lens to maximize it. The kit lens is decent for beginners. Overall, a good investment if you can afford it. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7 II. I purchased the Sony A7E and I couldn't be happier with it. The in-body stabilization is a game changer and the ergonomic improvements are noticeable. The camera's video capabilities are also impressive. While there are some minor drawbacks, overall, this camera is the best full-frame camera on the market in terms of performance and price. If you're looking for a versatile- I recently purchased this camera and it's a great buy for anyone wanting a full-frame without needing top-of-the-line video. It's easy to use out of the box. The kit lens was better than expected, and the body feels solid. The dials are well placed, but the battery charging is terrible, and the lens release button is in an awkward position. I recommend getting a secondary charger and battery. Overall, I plan to upgrade lenses as my budget allows. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A7 IV. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A7 II. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10.